Hello, and welcome to the Dundas tutorial video for using drill down and custom actions in Dundas BI. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics using the built in drill down and drill up features, creating custom drill down actions, and creating other custom actions such as filter, navigate, hover over, and change layer. What is drill down? Drilling down into data means that you want to view data at a more detailed granularity. For instance, let's say you're viewing sales by year, but you want to see the monthly data for one of those years. Drilling into that year should show you the data for only that year at the month level. Dundas BI offers drill down functionality right out of the box without anybody needing to explicitly set it up beforehand. The built in drill down features allow a viewer to easily drill down, change the level of the data, such as monthly instead of yearly, and drill back up. Here we're back at the Dundas BI dashboard designer. I'm going to drag in a data cube with order quantities and break it down by year. By default, I get a table, which is fine for this demo, but everything I'm going to show you here will work exactly the same way for other visualizations like charts. Let's switch into view mode since what I'm about to do doesn't actually require any edit mode features. So here we've got the data broken down by year. Now let's say I want to get a closer look at 2013 to find out why those numbers are the way they are. We can just right click on 2013 and choose drill down from the context menu. Now we're seeing data only for 2013 and the month level instead of the year level. Because the underlying hierarchy for my data has year, month and day levels, I can drill down again, this time on a month. And now I have data only for January at the day level. To go back, I just need to right click again and choose drill up. Another option I have here is to change the level or granularity of the data without actually drilling down. From the right click context menu, I'll use the change level command so that I see data at the month level instead of the year level. The difference here is that I didn't drill down on any specific year. I'm seeing data for all years, just by month instead of by year. These options work equally well with any kind of hierarchy, not just dates. Here I'll quickly use the data binding panel so that I see product categories along the rows instead of years. The drill down, drill up, and change level commands all work seamlessly here as well. Now sometimes you may want to build a dashboard where the built-in functionality isn't intuitive enough for your users, and you want to make it a bit easier. Custom actions are here to address this need. First, let's build a custom drill down action. Again, this is something you might want to do to make things easier for whoever ends up using your dashboard, because they may not realize that the right click menu can do this. To add the action, we'll switch into edit mode. I'll revisualize as a chart here since it's easier to see. Now, I'll use the setup interactions command from the right click context menu. Let's create the drill down interaction. Here we can choose a name for the action what will get clicked on, and what the drill down should actually do. We can choose to drill down on the same visualization, make the drill down go to a different dashboard, or open a URL. When I switch into view mode, clicking on any of the bars will automatically drill down into that product category. And now, we see subcategories. Now let's set up a filter action. For this, I'll drag my data again, and copy and paste it to create another control. Let's change the first control to a bar chart, and the second one to be a radial gauge. I want to make it so that when I click on any of the bars in the chart, the gauge updates to show the number for just that item. Again, I'll right click on the chart and select the Setup Interactions Filter command. The filter interaction is designed to filter other controls which show the same data based on my selection in this control. The default options will work just fine here, so I'll hit OK and switch into view mode. The next kind of action we'll look at is the hover over action. This kind of action is used when you want something to appear in a pop-up after the user hovers over it. The content of the pop-up can be either another dashboard or report from Dundas BI or an external URL. You might want to use a URL if you have some external reporting system and you want to build some integration such that a web page from that system is shown right there on the dashboard when you hover. As it happens, I have a sophisticated reporting system with which I want to integrate here. 
The system is going to report back to me on the filter value which gets passed. Here's the format of the URL that my reporting system accepts. What I need to do is set up a parameter placeholder so that Dundas BI will pass it through the URL. I'll click on Set Up Parameters and then Add New Mapping. I want to pass the value of the order date corresponding to the hovered data point, so I'll check that off. And I'll enter some placeholder text which will get replaced in my URL, Curly Brace Filter. Now that I've set up the placeholder, I'll go ahead and add the Curly Brace Filter placeholder to the URL and hit OK to finish setting it up. Back in view mode, I can hover over any data point and you'll see my sophisticated reporting system appear in a pop-up, successfully showing the year corresponding to what I hovered over. The navigate action is nearly the same as the hover over action. The difference is that it will open the navigation target as a regular web page rather than a pop-up. We can choose what we want to navigate to and whether it should happen in the same page or open a new one. The last action I'll show is the change layer action. This one is very useful when you want to show and hide content on the dashboard and is often helpful when creating help overlays. Here I've got a help overlay already set up in another layer which is hidden by default. What I want to do is make it so that when a user clicks on the help button in the top right corner of my dashboard, the overlay layer appears. Okay, so this time we'll right click on the help button and choose to set up the change layer action, specifying that the help layer should be shown. When we view the dashboard, we see that it's working properly. I've already set up a change layer interaction on this hide button, which sets the help layer back to invisible. Thanks for watching the Drill Down and Custom Actions video, part of the Dundas BI tutorial series. For more videos and articles in the series, please visit www.dundas.com support.